So I just want to welcome three of my heroes, Alexander Morton, Rex Whaler, and Chief Marilyn Baptiste. And uh, the three of them coming together like this is no small thing, so please give them a welcome. Okay, we're here briefly, but essentially to support each other. Uh, what Alexander's doing up on the coast has done for so long, sometimes when you're fighting these battles you feel alone, and I know that Marilyn up at uh, Fish Lake, the same thing, fighting, fighting, fighting. Look, our entire world is under assault, and certainly our province is under assault. They want it all, and the driving force that I feel behind all this is all the same thing. It's not very complicated, it's really simple. It's about money. It's about turning these natural resources, whether it's the, the tidal flow and the nutrients that are flowing along the coast, or the rivers, they want to turn them into power plants, or the lake, they, they want to turn, Maryland can tell you about this, but what they want to do at Fish Lake is just insane. They want to take a lake with 90,000 cutthroat trout and turn it into a tailings pond. And what they're doing right now in Vancouver that I'm working on is they're shipping Vancouver has now become the tar sand shipping port. We're now shipping raw crude oil from Alberta in tankers, huge tankers, through Vancouver. We're risking our entire coast, our marine environment, our coastal economy. We're risking it all so that a few people, Kinder Morgan, you know who these people are? They're the pipeline people that are shipping the oil. These, these are like extra Enron billionaires. So we're making the billionaires richer by selling our resources and selling out our province. And our leaders, so-called leaders, that are supposedly looking after our interests. They're the ones behind this. They're doing this. And it's all about money. It's all about turning our natural world into money. And that's what's happening with the salmon. That's what's happening on the coast with the tankers. That's what's happening in a fish lake. And it goes on and on and on and on. And we're just here to say, we're all fighting these battles. And sometimes it feels lonely. But we're standing together. And we're supporting Alexander. We're supporting Marilyn and her people. They're supporting us. And we're working together. Thank you for... <laughs> Good evening. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the First Nations uh, whose territory we are on here, uh, Sachana Thien. Uh, Marilyn Baptiste says it, Honey Badin, Nita Ilin, Nesleen. My name is Marilyn Baptiste. I am the Chief of the Honey Badin First Nations. And um, I was just um, very, very honored to be here with Alexandra. Um, I love Alexandra. She's so awesome. I was very fortunate to be able to get here to see some of the film and see some of the tremendous work that she has done um, for all of us, uh, for the sake of the wild salmon. The wild salmon are water and people. That is our lifeblood. That's what this is all about. And of course, we all have to stand up together to protect the wild salmon, to protect the water, to protect our people. Um, for me, of course, for most of the First Nations um, around the world, is to protect our way of life and our future generations. And of course, um, we will be speaking a little bit more in regards to Fish Lake, where we have um, a threat of our way of life and the Fish Lake um, being drained where we have wild trout and that is directly above the headwaters of the Tosico River and the uh, Tosico River is a part of the wild sockeye run of the Chilco River which is also a part of the Saifuddin territory. So um, I'm very honored to be here and I, I look forward to working with Alexandra and um, Rex as well as all of you and um, everyone else around us to stand up and hold the governments accountable. Because we cannot possibly continue to have to fight with every breath and our every means to continue to fight for life. It's, we are almost beyond the point of no, no return. And how much more are we going to take? I, um, I have to share with you, um, just to, on our trip down here today, my um, daughter-in-law, um, Dina, was very fortunate to see um, a brown bear 
fishing for wild salmon on the Fraser River in the canyon. And that gives me a lot of hope because not, not every t trip down to the coast do I see that wildlife and that biodiversity. So I'm um, also very, uh, another treasure of course is to have my um, daughter-in-law here with me, Dina, and I thank her for being here. And I also want to share with, with another treasure that I carry with me um, most places that I travel. Back home in our territory, we still drink from the lakes, the streams, and the rivers. And I carry with me here the water from the Tosico River. And on most trips that I leave home, I cross the Tosico River and I take the water from the river, not from the tap. We are very fortunate to still be able to drink from our, our rivers and our lakes. So let's stand up together and continue this fight and um, hold the governments accountable. I thank you all for being here as a channel. I'll just echo the words. We really have to come together, break down all the barriers. The environmental organizations are even too separate. Political parties are too separate. We're actually the majority, so we just need to hold hands and stand up, and it's actually fun. So I, I look forward to moving ahead, and it, it is a great honor to be on the stage with these two people who have also put their lives on the line for this. So, yeah, I, we can do this, definitely. Thanks. Woo!